Hey there, I'm Natasha, and today I'm going to talk about chimichurri sauce. What is chimichurri, you ask? Chimichurri is an Argentinian condiment that's traditionally served with grilled meats, seafood, and vegetables. It happens to be one of my favorite sauces, so today I'm going to walk you through the super simple steps on how to make chimichurri at home. I will post a recipe on our Instagram page at CBS Cafe Shea for you to reference back to afterwards. But for now, we're going to walk through the steps. So right now I have flat leaf Italian parsley. I'd like to point out that not all parsley is created equal, so I recommend using flat leaf parsley for this recipe because it's more tender and more flavorful. I have some raw garlic, I have red wine vinegar, oil, red pepper flake, and a little bit of salt and sugar. Now, what you want to do is you're going to take your ingredients and you're going to put them in a blender or food processor and simply puree them to the desired consistency. You will adjust at the end with salt and sugar as needed. I try not to cook my savory dishes with sugar. Um, as we know, we don't usually need any added sugar. However, when you're making something that can be acidic or working with things like vinegar or lemon juice, sometimes it can be a little bit too tart. I find that people like to add more oil to kind of balance it out, but if you add just a little bit of sugar, you can go ahead and cut through the acidity and make your sauce or dressing or what have you taste delicious. So, once you've pureed everything, add in a pinch of sugar, add in a pinch of salt, taste it and adjust as necessary. You will end up with a nice smooth consistency and you're all ready to go. You can go ahead and refrigerate this for up to a week until you're ready to serve it on your favorite grilled meats or vegetables. And I personally love it as a salad dressing. It's bright, it's fresh, it's vibrant and flavorful. And it's a nice break from your traditional balsamic vinegars and ranch dressings and so on and so forth. So hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you give it a try. And hopefully we see you next time. Thanks for joining me.